Good afternoon. As we gather here today to witness and celebrate the marriage of Devin and Macy, we ask that God bless them so that they will be strengthened in their lives together. We are called upon to rejoice in their happiness and find their love a reason to renew our own commitments to those whom are dear to each of us. And the covenant of marriage is one that can only be entered into by persons who are both legally and spiritually free to offer themselves to one another. And so I ask you, do you, Devin Monroe Barnes, offer yourself wholly and joyfully into this marriage? And do you choose Macy as the person with whom you will share your life, in laughter and in tears, in conflict and tranquility, loving what you know of her and trusting what you do not yet know? If so, please say I do. I do. Very good. And do you, Macy Lynn Stills, offer yourself wholly and joyfully into this marriage? And do you choose Devin as the person with whom you will share your life, in laughter and in tears, in conflict and tranquility, loving what you know of him and trusting what you do not yet know? If so, please say I do. I do. Thinking back to the first time we met is something I do often. I'm always excited to tell friends and family how it went. But by now, everyone has heard the story. Why not tell it again? You were working as a cashier at Whole Foods, and I had seen you around thinking to myself, she's a cute girl. Little did I know that one day, you and I would be standing here ready to commit our lives to one another. I went to pay for my groceries and went th to, through the register that you were working, and you noticed I was purchasing some cat food, and you said, oh, you have a cat? What's your cat's name? And I replied, Macy, and with a look of excitement, you gasped and flung your hair back, revealing a name tag that read Macy, along with a button that read, I was normal three cats ago. This kind of shocked me because of seeming so unlikely. Anyway, long story short, this is when you first caught my eye. Fortunately for me, you began helping out in the meat department to pick up some extra hours. You and I always seemed to work together and we would have a good time chatting and flirting, or what seemed like flirting to me. Since then, our relationship has grown strong. We have had many challenges and ups and downs, but continue to find ways through them. No matter what happens, Macy, my love for you is never ending. And I promise to wake up every morning with a clear mind and a hope towards our future. I think that from the beginning, it's always been the certainty of good food that's kept you around, <laughs> whether it be home cooking or the late night dinner adventures that you send me on. Just, just joking. One thing is for sure though, as long as I'm your husband, you will never go hungry and I will always give you something to laugh about. Macy, I love the way you keep me grounded during my most difficult moments and help me to have a different outlook when my thoughts consume me. Never stop those cute little times when you grab Ellie and dance her around the apartment or when you throw your feet into my lap and wiggle those tiny toes for a foot massage. I have always adored the quirky little things that you do and that give me a reason to smile. I pray often that our love endures even the toughest of times and that we continue to grow more and more each day. I love you, Macy Lynn Stills, and I'm so grateful to bring you into my family forever at Barnes. Devin, I always like to bring up the topic of how we met. I'm gonna have a little overlap here. Um, not only is there some humor, but also so many examples of the signs that have made up our paths cross and line them up together. In 2016, I was in a transitional period in my life. I just turned 25. I was brand new to Richmond, Virginia. I had tried the school route and it wasn't for me. And so I just started to apply to as many jobs as possible and got one call back and it was Whole Foods. I had been working at Whole Foods for a couple of months and one day, a guy came in my register and <laughs> from another department and we made some small talk he pointed out a pen of on my apron it said i was normal three cats ago we went on to talk about our <laughs> cats some more i asked his his cat's name and he told me macy and i was totally caught off guard um i responded back with that's my name and flung my hair to the side to show my name tag on my apron <laughs> Uh, I didn't know who that person was that day, but it was a first impression I could never forget. I would later on cross paths with him again and get to know Devin for who he is. I also got a new best friend from that. Devin, I love your ability to see the good in anyone and anything. I love your kindness and gentle heart. I love your magnetic energy. I love you. I love that you are aware and present in life. I also really love your cooking 
and just spending every day with you. I promise to love and care for you. I promise to learn your love language to ensure your needs are met in life. I promise to grow old with you in sickness and in health. I promise to be your best friend forever, to be the person you confide in and show all humility to. I promise to be open and also show humility and vulnerability. I promise to uh, help you in any way possible and to help find solutions. I promise to always send you anything cat or houseplant related to bring a smile to your face. I promise to grow old with you and never stop growing. Our relationship is far from picture perfect, though some might think differently. Through all of our obstacles, we still have been able to meet back up together. We have made career advancements in unison several times. We have turned our, an apartment into a home for us and the girls. We have gone on so many adventures and seen who knows if we would have seen it if we weren't together. And I cannot wait to do that for the rest of our lives. All the signs have led me to know I have found the one my heart or my soul loves, and it's you. I love you, Devin. I love you, Macy. Macy, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. Macy, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. Wear this ring as a token of my love to you. Wear this ring as a token of my love to you. Very good. Now, Macy, take the ring you've selected. Place it on Devin's finger and repeat after me, please. Devin, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. Devin, I give you this ring as a symbol of our love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. <laughs> I honor you. Wear this ring as a token of my love to you. Wear this ring as a token of my love to you. Devin and Macy, before us here today, you've declared your wish to be joined in marriage. You've each pledged to the other your lifelong commitment, love, devotion, and have sealed promises by exchanging rings. And now by the authority vested in me by the state of North Carolina, and because of my faith in this union, it's my honor to pronounce you husband and wife. You are now kids.